Hi guys and welcome back to Neon Black. This is uh, part four of my journaling series. We are almost done. Well, we are done. And this is part four of my journaling series where I talk about the different journals that I use and what I use them for. So if that interests you or anything else on this channel, please feel free to subscribe to that button. It's either there or there and ring the notification bell. So the fourth journal that I want to introduce you guys to is my book of ideas, of YouTube ideas and creativity. So I use this journal to put everything YouTube related in here. And since I am making YouTube a full-time job for myself, um, this just really helps me keep myself organized. And I would suggest to anybody else who is either doing YouTube or has another creative outlet, just to get a journal dedicated to that because um, it just keeps you it, at least for myself, my creativity is way more disorganized than um, when I'm trying to be organized with, um, no, that makes no sense. So the fourth journal I want to introduce you guys to is my book of ideas and creativity. And so this journal just allows me to put anything that is YouTube related or creativity um, related into this journal. Um, and I really like it because it's a separate outlet that has nothing to do with, you know, feelings and emotions and all that. It's just strictly creativity and um, it's my creative space. And I really like it because it keeps me organized with what I want to do with YouTube and um, all of my ideas. I'm able to put it in one specific spot. And I really do like that. It helps me keep myself organized. So let me guys, ooh. So let me guys know down in the comment section if you guys have a creative journal or if you have a journal where you keep all of your ideas. And if not, if you're interested in getting one, um, I'll put down in the description bar where I got my journal from. Well, we can get a similar journal because I actually was gifted this from um, one of my really close friends and it's just perfect. Like, do what makes you happy. Duh, like that's perfect. <laughs> but I'll leave down in the description bar um, similar journals that are, you know, creative journals. And um, let me guys know in the comment section if you guys have a creative journal or anything that's similar to that. And until next time, I love you guys always. And thank you so much for sticking through on our four part journaling series. I hope you guys learned something. And um, yeah, I love you guys. Bye.